Ah, hello, my hearties. Dinky-doo. Tis me, Scotty McClure. Remembrance Sunday evening. Sunday night, nothing gets past me, and we are extremely busy already. Welcome, 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 I say. Now, I did pop up earlier with a remembrance commemoration piece, but it's very, very nice to pop up for the actual show. So welcome, 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 I say. And uh, we'll have a good bit of chit-chat, and then hopefully you'll be joining me live on Nation Radio at 10 o'clock sharp, 96.3 in the FM if you're based in Scotland, and www.nationradio.scot if you're based elsewhere. Raymond Benson says, hello, hello, Raymond. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, Robert J. Pollock. Dinky do, lovely to have you with us as well. Hazel Smith, welcome, welcome. You were with me this morning, you lovely, lovely people. Tell 10 to tell 10, let's get sharing, of course. The Scotty McClue is live. Tell the world, Thomas Hamilton. Hello, pal. Hope you've had a good weekend. I have indeed, pal. Christopher Love, good evening. Excellent stuff. Right, there we are, Robert J. Pollock, Ian Whitelaw, Andy McCrory. Lovely to have you all with us. A very, very good turnout tonight, guys, considering there's so many other things. But, of course, television's off at 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday night. That is Scotty McClue, talk time for this country. And that's the way it should be. Excellent stuff. Uh, do tell, there's VJ, excellent. Jane McDonald, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Of course, and love to you all from the wee moose in the workshop. Love your hat, says Thomas Hamilton. Thank you, Thomas. Very much appreciate I've got my poppy on at the side, as you will see. I'm just going to do a little bit of sharing here. Lee Thorpe's watching, and Ben Lucas, lovely to have you with us, guys. Come and join us for Scotty McClure's Sunday night pop-up. And we are, of course, live on the big one, Facebook Live. Now, we're international, so wherever you're watching, do let us know. I want to see if we've got people in uh, India and African America and Canada. Uh, come and watch us. Ian Hill says hello. Bertha King Patton. Lovely, lovely lady. Dinky do. Gary Porter. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us. And a warm welcome to Scotty McClure's pop-up. I'm just going to tell the world we're up here. Otherwise, they won't know. Dunnett Powell says Thomas Hamilton. Thanks very much, Thomas. Good morning from the Southern Highlands of New South Wales, says Ali Haining. Is that not just fabulous? We are being watched live in Australia. There we are. Fantastic stuff. So what you've got here is the one stop broadcast on first lot of the internet being watched in Australia and throughout the world. Richie McCusker, all right, Scotty boy. Hello, Richie. Dinky do to you. Stephen Dunn, excellent. A very warm welcome for Sunday evening. I was laughing earlier. I think I told you when somebody said, you seem to just be shouting out names to say, well, that's the show. It's a shout out show. Uh, Hi, Scotty, says Stephen Dunn. And what are you talking about tonight, says Thomas? Obviously, can't divulge that, Thomas. Otherwise, we might have um, one or two people thinking, Oh, we'll jump into that. There's the wonderful Mark Cruden, Dinky Do, Davy Murdoch. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. I'm just logging in here, guys. Fantastic stuff. Tap, 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 tap. Best presenter ever, says Richie McCusker. You're very kind, Richie. Hello, Scotty. I'm new here, says Joshua Hasty. Joshua Hasty, a very, very warm welcome. And Hasty back, I say. Lovely to have you with us. And this is where we meet up for world unity. And everybody that can join us on Facebook Live joins us. Live and direct, says Paul Wright. Excellent. Robert Duncan, dinky do. I mean, this is a fantastic phenomenon, guys. There's nothing else in the world to match what we do on a Sunday night at 9 o'clock sharp. Hi, Scotty, says Karen Thompson. Hello, Karen, did you do? Hi, lad, how's things? Says Shawnee Fitzgerald. Scotty, can you give us a Tory Glenn accent, says Ferguson Alistair. Tory Glenn is an interesting mix, actually, because you've got two accents there. You've got the uh, the old Castle Milk and the Tory Glenn. So you've got the, the kind of... Don't like that, know what I mean. <laughs> did you get it there? See what I just did there. Hi, Scotty, says Ian McManus. Hi, Ian, lovely to have you with us. Julie Mackay. Hi, Scotty, lovely to have you with us, Julie. I'm just uh, getting sorted out here. Fantastic stuff. And uh, we'll be with you in two shakes. 
as I say. Two shakes of a lamb's tail. Good to see you, Scotty, says Chris Miller. Um, Ferguson, Alistair, or Alistair Ferguson, lovely to have you with us. He's crying with laughter. For some reason, he finds McClue funny. So there we go. Excellent stuff. I had to dump somebody for laughing during the remembrance bit today. So there we are. So they had to go. They seem to think that there was some kind of levity when we were being absolutely serious. Thank you, of course, to the boys from uh, Middergyle Band, who uh, Middergyle Pipe Band, who were up this morning and played at six o'clock at the Cenotaph in Ardrishig. I have an interest in this because my late uncle's name, he died at 21 in the Navy, went down with his ship, and um, he's commemorated on the 3945 of a Drishig War Memorial. Scotty, you bring back memories, says Gary McGrath. Of course, Gary, fantastic. Stephen Higgy's watching, Dinky Doo, the wonderful Fay Lamont up in Dundee is watching. Welcome, 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 Fay. Lovely to have you with us, fantastic. And I hope all is well with you on Remembrance Sunday. Scotty, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, 96.3 FM, 10 o'clock till 12. Tune in. Hello, Scotty, we're watching in Cyprus says Mark Nash. Fantastic, Mark. Spread the word around Cyprus that McClue is on the wireless and uh, or on Facebook Live, I should say, on the wireless at 10 o'clock sharp. So there we are. I had to tell the dafty uh, who was saying, make up your mind, is it 9 or 10? I said, it's 9 for Facebook Live. It's 10 o'clock sharp for Nation Radio 96.3 FM. The wonderful Ronnie Stevenson watching. A fine fella. I don't know what he's angling for. Ha <laughs> ha! We in joke there. He's a fisherman. Uh, tonight, 10 p.m., says Paul Wright. Absolutely, George Clark. Basil Brush. What a hat. Alan Humphreys. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. Right, I'm just signing into my device here, of course, so that I can um, do a bit of sharing. If you can all do the same, that would be just tremendous. Absolutely tremendous. There we go. Right, that should come up. Wonderful stuff. Love the Glen, Gary Scotty. Respect you. Thank you very much. Looking very smart, Scotty, says Jim Birmingham. And uh, respect you, Alistair King. Paul Taylor's watching. Charles McLaughlin. Be very dapper in your military regalia, Scotty, says Tony Mac. I thank you, Tony. There's my poppy at the side, you see. You can see my poppy there. Wonderful stuff. Although, in actual fact, the poppies have now fallen. Gary, Donald and Angela Goodlett, dinky do to you, a very warm welcome. The world's top broadcaster, first lord of the internet, popping up live on Facebook Live, just for you, saying dinky do. Excellent stuff. So there we are. Now then, let's see what's going on here, and see if we can get a bit of shading. I might be able to show you myself, broadcasting on another device. How's about that for a wee smile? Uh, wonderful. Come on, Angela, dinky do. that's what I say to you. Excellent stuff. Scotty McClure, only with you through until 9.30, and then I have to dash to the Nation Radio. Excellent. To our studio to get wired up for all that. Nick Prince, dinky do. lovely to have you with us. A fine fellow, and welcome, welcome, welcome. Right, let's see what's going on here. Ah, there is a clue. Excellent stuff. Right, I'm just going to show us a slight delay. You'll see it there. Can you see me? Broadcasting. Only with you through until 9.30 and then I have to... <laughs> Scotty, do you whistle in the zoo? Why do you ask, uh, Alistair Ferguson, do you stay in the flat beneath? Uh, do tell us. why. What is your interest, I say? Right, I'm just going to share this. Get this going out there. Share that. Let everybody know that we're up and about. I'll turn myself down now because you're not actually needing to hear us. That will be interfering with what you're all doing. Dinky do, Scotty, says Kevin Malcolm McGregor. Lovely to have you with us, Kevin Malcolm McGregor. Haven't heard of you for far too long. Don't you dare leave it as long the next time I say to you. So there we are. Right. Let's get sharing now. If you can all do the same, let everybody know McClue is on. Let's share to, um, we can share to the groups 
and let them know that would be a good idea. And uh, if everybody watching can share right now. Malcolm McNeil, very warm welcome. Thank you. Dinky do to you, Scotty, from Nick Prince and Amy in 1066 country. How amazing is that? Fantastic. You're watching the World Stop Broadcaster and the First Lord of the Internet. Are your nation tonight, Scotty? I've been following nation tonight at 10 o'clock sharp, Alistair King. Make sure that you are there. Be there or be square. I say never ever miss a second of Scotty McClue either on Facebook Live or on Nation Radio 96.3 on the FM or www.nationradio.scot. Looking splendid, says Lindsay McKillop. I thank you, Lindsay. Very, very much appreciated. It's very warm in the studio here, though. I think I may have to take a quick uh, comfort break in a second. I'm just going to put uh, live now. Live. Now, right, if you can all do the same, just put live now and send it round all your groups, all your followers, and uh, we'll get everybody going here. What am I doing here? On your page, that's right. So Scotty McClue also has a page. There's about 6,000 of you on there. Make sure you're uh, up to speed with all the Scotty McClue Facebook pages. So there we are. Um, it's been far too long, Scotty. Still drying out from the downpour at Kilmarnock Cenotaph this morning. Well, good. Well done you for turning out to the Cenotaph. I popped up for people that uh, weren't going out or couldn't make it or whatever, and we had our own gathering here this morning at 11 o'clock for the silence. You should be able to catch up with that on Facebook. Um, I'll be there. I might even phone in for a chat if I pluck up the courage, says Alistair King. Now, Alistair King, bless you, but you don't need any courage to phone Scotty McClure on Nation Radio. If you can phone your granny or your auntie Fanny, then you can phone Scotty McClure. So there we are, 0141811. There we are, 0475. Have you got that? 0141811-0475. And you'll get me after 10 o'clock. And um, I believe it was the Allies who won the Second World War. Who won the First World War and who started it? Just wondering, says Tony Mac. There are no winners in war, Tony Mac. You can have a victory. But you need a magnanimity in victory. And after the First World War in 1919, they had the Treaty of Versailles. And it was very, very, very punitive against Germany and against a Germany that had been very, very heavily defeated and lost many of its youth, as had uh, Great Britain. So there you are. So in actual fact... Um, there are no winners in war. But if you have what's called a victory, you want magnanimity in victory. What started it was an arms race for the Navy from 1906 with uh, Kaiser Wilhelm, who was the grandson of Queen Victoria, and his uncle, uh, Edward the Seventh, who was the son of Queen Victoria. So there you are. Bit of argy bargy that started. But in actual fact, the tinder box was in uh, Europe, in Eastern Europe. And you had the um, Sarajevo incident when Archduke Franz Ferdinand and his wife were assassinated. That was the, the match to the tinder box of, uh, of conflict. I was laying a wreath on behalf of my local CLP, proud to see so many local people out to see the parade and support the veterans despite the weather. Absolutely. Well, you know there's every chance of not good weather at this time of year. Great words, Scotty, says Richard Russell. Dinky do, Richard, thank you. Good to see the purple poppies for the animals who served. Yes, Kevin Malcolm McGregor, the war horse. Absolutely. Very, very important. And uh, I have a picture of my grandfather on horseback at Gallipoli. Scotty, my granny isn't a big celebrity, says Charles McLaughlin. Yes, she is, Charles McLaughlin. She's one of the biggest celebrities in the world because she's your granny. And you can't beat that. They are. You've only got a chance of having two grannies, really. Uh, incredible stuff. Right. Uh, I'm just going to do a bit more sharing here. Wonderful stuff. Councillor Henry Anderson, dig you do. Hail, hail for California, 
says Ricky Curran. So Ricky Curran's watching Scotty McClure live on Facebook Live out in California. I hope you're okay there. I know you've had a lot of challenges uh, recently. Uh, local turned out today in Renfrew. Thank you very much. Renfrew, good Lindsay. Excellent. Do tell us about your experiences with Remembrance. Use this time well and wisely, folks. Come on. Talk, 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 chatity, chatity, chat. And tap, 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 tap. I'm just going to do some sharing. Uh, I'm not long. Uh, share. Excellent stuff. And I'm going to share to the groups. So there you are. If you're a member of our groups, then you'll be getting my clue, uh, sending you something. I'm just inviting a few people as well. Send, 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 send. If you can all do the same, come on. The more the merrier. Right now, share, 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 share. Tony Fish, I love your hat. Thank you, Tony. It is a very precious hat. So there we go. Very, very important. Now, uh, I'm just going to say live now. And off we jolly well go live now. And tell everybody, tell 10 to tell 10, right Share there, share there, share there, share there. Excellent stuff. Good, good. Can you do the same, guys? Come on. And uh, share there, share there. Excellent. This is where we get together. We are building the show. If anybody is feeling flush, Hi, Scotty. Junior here spoke to you many years ago, but poppies, nothing in the west of Scotland has changed. William Tannehill, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. And are you related to the old weevils of Paisley? Uh, Dunham Powell, Sir Thomas Hamilton, Carmack McCusker, Dinky Doo, hello from Scotty McClue to Carmack there. You should go on Dragon's Den, says Scott Elliott. You know, funny enough, it was on the telly just before I came up there and I thought, you know, I should go on here and, and um, you know, jack up some of the businesses. Fantastic. I'm going to go on Dragon's Den. I was going to say, if you're feeling flush, go to Scotty McClue's website, www.scotty-mcclue.com. You'll get it by putting that in and you will see Kenneth Haig, dinky do, yes, lovely to have you with us. Uh, I observed the two minute silence outside the Southern General, uh, sorry, Southern Sound Hospital Radio in Govan this morning. I think there's a ceremony in Govan. I got the fright of my life with the guns going off, yes, absolutely. Um, so, who else have we got? Snorri Grozier, Yvonne Douglas, and Peter Dale. Come and join us. Where am I? I was doing a bit of sharing there. I'll just check what's going on. Right. And uh, what else have we got? Right. That'll probably do just now. Um, so there we go. If you want to do some sharing, though, do that. Let everybody know that we're live now, guys. Very, very important. And uh, just checking. How is the time looking? Who's got the time on them? I could have a look at the studio clock, I suppose, and see what's what. No, we're fine. We've got a bit of time. Excuse me one second. Just be with you in a wee second. It is so warm in here. Oh, I'm just better. Give myself a tiny mop doon. I think that's uh, that's better. A wee mop down for you. And I say dinky do. Wonderful. I'll just bring my bring my ribbon back. Uh, wonderful stuff. Hi, hi, Scotty. Dinky do says Yvonne. So just back from California. Nine twenty, Scotty. Hello, Scotty. Dinky do, buddy. Julia Diamonds watching. Fantastic. Tell ten, tell ten. Come on, guys. Get tap, 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 tap. Because we want to build the show. The other thing, if you're feeling flush, if you've got a spare fiver or a ten, and you think Scotty McClure's worth it, because I've entertained you enough over the last twenty six years. <coughs> Pardon me. Do pop it into GoFundMe.com. You'll see it. Scotty McClure's GoFundMe. And um, you can pop something into that. I think there's uh, a few hundred quid in it already. Danny Boyle, McClure's Pies. Thank you to Danny. You can he beat McClure's Pies. Always say I to a McClure's Pie. Rybert, share your Scotty, told 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. Good for you, Rybert. Very much appreciated. I hope you're well. And dinky do from me, Scotty McClure. Should I sit back a bit? Is that better if I do that? Um, I don't want you to have too big a swatch. At my coupon, Greg MacArthur, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. If you're uh, on Facebook, you should be watching Scotty McClure right now, the world's top broadcaster, the first lord of the internet. This is 
the big one. And we're working on national radio for you. And I'm on nation radio at 10 o'clock. Angela Rose, did you do? Yes, I did. What's the money for, says Margaret McNeil? It gets us a bit of advertising, Margaret. And it also allows me to operate the equipment. So there you are. So rather than say to people, would you like to buy into the Scotty McClue phenomenon like Dragon's Den and have 40% of my business or whatever? You don't want people losing money going, oh, no, I lost, I lost over £100,000 in a business or something like that. You hear stories like that, so I would rather do it this way. A wee fiver, a wee tenner, if everybody puts something in, then we're able to move it forward. If you could persuade the Americans to legalise haggis, I'll donate, says Ricky Curran. I don't think haggis is illegal. I think they just worry about it because it's a foodstuff coming in from another country. Hope you're well, mate, says Kevin Kelly. Dinky do. Okay, lol, says Margaret McNeil. So, Margaret, you know, if you if you put a fiver in, you thought, I put a fiver into Scotty McClue and I lost the lot. You know, I mean, is that the end of the world? Do you see what I mean? But when it's your when it's your life savings or something, that's a different thing. So there you are. So it's just inviting everybody to uh, you know stick in a fiver. John Rogers already given twenty pounds, Scotty. You have indeed, John, and I thank you very much for that. Very generous and very much appreciated. And that will have gone to superb use because Scotty McClue can do wonderful things with tiny bits of money. Uh, I'll work an extra hour for you this week, says Margaret McNeil. No, you don't put yourself out. You only give what you can afford. If you can't afford it, you don't give it. So it's somebody who's flush market that doesn't have to work an extra hour says, you know, I've got thousands and thousands of pounds in the bank. What am I going to do? I'll give a wee bit to Scotty McClue. I'll slip the old boy a fiver and then he can get some advertising on Facebook. Uh, so there we are. Haggis is banned in America, says Julia Diamond. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It's because it's a food stuff, I would imagine, Julia. So if it wasn't something that was eaten, if it was an ornament that sat on your uh, on your bedside or something, a haggis there. What do you do for Remembrance Sunday today then, Scotty? Well, Dylan McKenna, if you look up Scotty McClue's Facebook, you'll see I shared... Uh, the silence at 11 o'clock with the rest of the world on Facebook Live. So there you are. Excellent stuff. Ha, 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 says Margaret McNeil. Absolutely. You see, I'm looking after you, Margaret. I look after all my people. There's nothing fly about old McClue. 922 pals, says Thomas Hamilton. Thank you, Tom. That is very, very good of you. I will have to go in about eight minutes' time and uh, sort my hair out, smarten myself up for the radio. Very important. But guns aren't an a kinder and so <laughs> Right, okay, Julia. I get the idea. Yes, you can have a gun in America, but not a haggis. Adrienne Murphy, lovely to have you with us. Dinky do you're watching Scotty McClue. Can we have more shares, please, everybody? Come on. Share, 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 share. As soon as you share, the quicker we get on. I say, but uh, and if everybody that's watching right now shares right now, then some more people will join us. Good for you, Scotty. Eh? Hope you're well and happy. Very, very happy, Alice. But I can only do what I can with the show. I mean, I've invested hundreds of thousands of pounds in radio over the years, trying to save radio stations, building radio stations. I've made media moguls very, very wealthy. I've added millions of pounds of value to radio stations. I've done all that for other people, and now what I'd quite like to do is see what we can do for you guys. And if that means a fiver here or a fiver there. Hi, Scotty, says Sharice. Excellent stuff. Yes, absolutely, Phil. I mean, you're quite right. I'm not going to mention the sweetie. So there we are. Andy, who did you do? And uh, Sharice has sent a row of hearts, my darling. Thank you very much. We've always got time for a row of hearts. In fact, I'll tell you what, if you're watching now, can everybody tap, 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 tap on the hearts and send me a row of hearts. Alistair King says, how's the fox these days, Scotty? Has it reappeared? No, it's, uh, we had the fox's motorway. He'd knocked a wee bit out the fence and was coming through from next door, but I haven't seen him for a while. So there we are. But I have, when walking the dog late at night, I can see sometimes he's within 15 feet of me and I've got the dog. 
And then he waits. He goes, it's okay, I'll wait. If you've got maybe a wee biscuit, I'll, I'll hang on. Well done, Scotty. Says Sharice, dinky do Sharice. Did you watch Scotty McClure's Remembrance Sunday broadcast this morning? If you've not seen that, then have a look at that. Also, you can go on Scotty McClure's YouTube channel. In fact, I'm needing two subscribers. Two. So, if you'd like to go on to uh, www.youtube.com forward slash user forward slash Scotty McClue 1, there you get, or you can just put in Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, and if you want to go and subscribe, I need two of you to subscribe to take me up to 1,300 subscribers, which I'm reliably informed is quite good for YouTube. So there we are, there we are. I will, I will, yes, VJ Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us, Joshua Hasty. A big row of hearts. Thank you so much. Very, very kind of you all. Now, uh, do tell me what you've been up to, where you're watching from. We've only got seconds, really. We've got five minutes. Let's use it well, and let's use it wisely. This is show number 120. When we started it that late, dark Saturday night in September, you can still see show number one, and McClure looks ever so coy, ever so coy. And uh, there we are. Here we are at show 120, and about three and a half million of you have witnessed the Scotty McClure Facebook pop-ups. Is that not just fantabulous? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your wonderful support, for your sharing, for your kindness, and for your goodness. And as I say, in many cases, for your pennies. Very good. A five or a ten or twenty quid. Somebody stuck a hundred pounds in and we were able to uprate the equipment. I'm here, Ken, Ken, I, Ken, 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 a boy that Ken's a boy that Kenji. Looking forward to the radio phone in tonight. Glad you banned a matey boy. Think you should ban Jonathan as well. Uh, Scotty, I'm in my pit watching, says Lindsay McKillop. Well, get your radio on, Lindsay McKillop, 96.3 in the FM. At 10 o'clock sharp, McClue will pop up and speak to you all. So there you are. Uh, Scott Elliott, oh no, you've been a bit harsh on uh, on our politicians there. That's a bit harsh, Scott Elliott, but uh, I do understand the sentiment. Thank you. Well done, Scotty. That's good. Excellent stuff. No, it's very, very good. And I'm able to update the equipment. I could take a wee five or a tenner for advertising and pop that into my Facebook advertising. <coughs> Pardon me. Just to get the show round. Oh, cup of tea. Julia Diamond, what station are you on now, honey? Julia is called Nation Radio. And it's 96.3 FM if you're in central Scotland. Or you can get it on the internet at www.nationradio.scot. <coughs> oh, dear. I think that went doing the wrong way, as we say, in Glasgow. Uh, 927 says Tom, thanks Tom for keeping me up to date. Thomas is my timekeeper and my watchkeeper and my gatekeeper. And he's letting me know that's a wee bit of tea. A tea leaf. There we are on your lip. It's nice to be important, but it's more important to be nice. <coughs> well, I would hope I'm more nice than important, Sharice Allison. So there you are. You have it straight. Say, listen to me, coughing away at the end of the show. How fantastic is that? Hello, Scotty. Good evening, Sir Stephen Bott McDowell. Good evening, Stephen Bott McDowell. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster. Jim Gallagher, Dinky Do. Alex Gallagher, a big thanks to my wife, Elizabeth. <coughs> oh, dear. For the lovely 60th birthday. Alex Gallagher, many congratulations on your 60th birthday. That's fantastic. Now, I've got a couple of minutes. <coughs> oh, dear, if I can stop coughing. Uh, what's your subject on the radio tonight, Scotty? It says Paul Sefton. We don't give our subjects away, Paul. We'll tell you all when you're listening in. Scotty, my missus said you look like a comedian. Says Rybert Hmrensa. Well, Rybert Hmrensa, uh, tell your wife I gave up comedy because people were just laughing at me all the time. 9.30. Uh, that's smashing. I'll try and tune in. Tune in, Julia. You'll love it. And you can get it. You can also shout, Alexa, play Nation Radio Scotland. 
Alexa, play Nation Radio Scotland, and it will do that for you. Thanks, Scotty, very much, says Alex Gallagher. Wendy Walker's watching. I don't want to go and leave you. Oh, my darlings. So lovely to see you all. Have a gorgeous, gorgeous week. Take great care of your dear selves. Love being you, because it's a lovely thing to be. Evening Scotty, looking dapper, so says John Bunns. I thank you, John Bunns. Good thinking, buddy, says Paul Sefton. <coughs> Coughing away here, that's terrible. Now, uh, come and join me on the radio in half an hour's time. We are live, and that is the big one. Spend the week sharing this video. Don't let me have to do all the sharing, for goodness sake, because it's your show, and uh, that's what it's all about. I had stand-up comedy set up. I tried it in the old folks' home. That's <laughs> Paul Sefton. No, I'm not going there, Paul Sefton. Enough, I say. Right, McClure has to dash, and um, do you not think I would have been a shoe-in when the late Sir Terry Wogan retired from BBC Radio 2? I always thought, I thought, Put McClue on in the morning to talk to the nation. There we are. That's what we should be doing. <laughs> Hence the stuff. I'll be there, Scotty. Good, Sharice. Nation Radio, 10 o'clock sharp. That is the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone's listening to. Time to sing the goodbye song. Are we ready? Shall we all do it together? Look at good big ones, says Kieran Dunbar. Erica Mayer from Australia. Love your cap. Erica Dicky do. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody, of we thursday, au revoir, and a cheerio. Cheerio, my darlings, take care of yourselves. This is Scotty McClure saying to every single one of you, Twa, dinky-doo.